Before I receive uh, tech support, I will start with two dimensions uh, which uh, we now hear about after the parliament adopted the um, CAP guidelines uh, on Tuesday. One dimension is the environment. Uh, they say that agriculture has a huge impact on the environment. Secondly, uh, the support to be planned is too low in order to achieve the objectives, uh, both environmental and uh, those set by the Green Deal. And thirdly, it's uh, not agriculture that has to decide on the negative impacts on the environment, because uh, the, uh, the impact uh, comes from other sectors as well. Uh, we have to reduce C CO2 uh, dimensions. Another dimension different between America and the US is that America um, bases uh, their agri agricultural policy on innovations and Europe um, uh, bases it on uh, the reduction of uh, uh, the uh, impact on the environment. And uh, some studies show that uh, uh, the agricultural produce may become much more expensive uh, in um, Europe. And uh, as uh, has been said, um, this is possible for us to uh, reduce it. What do we feel it? Um, Lithuania, contrary to the world, feels uh, a, a higher impact on uh, the climate than other uh, countries. And uh, I think that uh, in uh, the coming um, decades, uh, we will lose our uh, spruce, uh, uh, spruce lands because uh, they will probably disappear. Your sector uh, will have to adapt as many other sectors, but we have to see to it uh, that we reduce our negative impact. Agriculture is responsible for 30% of Lithuanian CO2 emissions and uh, both uh, CO2 and methane, and uh, everybody has to do anything they can to reduce that impact. Impact. And uh, we are actually planning and have a commitment at uh, the level of Lithuania uh, to reduce uh, the uh, greenhouse gas emissions uh, by uh, uh, a huge percentage by uh, uh, 50%. And uh, some countries have 60% uh, commitments. And these are not just declarations. Uh, the European continent is the only one that has adopted the climate law and uh, has pro provided for certain measures which will be applied in case these commitments are not met. And uh, why am I saying that agriculture may be a solution? It's because the Swedish four largest agricultural corporations together with national politicians uh, have approved fossil free, free Sweden strategy, providing that agriculture actually is accountable for fossil free uh, emissions uh, and is aspiring to become a climate neutral economic sector by 2030. And uh, this year, 25% of heating, drying and transport fuel comes from renewable energy sources. And in 2025, it will amount to 40%. In 2030, it will be 100%. And uh, uh, this 
uh, year, we are emphasizing the business strategy. And uh, when uh, reducing emissions, the value of uh, uh, the pr produce will increase because uh, the client will be ready to pay the price. And we are the agricultural, we are our agricultural land, which is related to clean nature and nice nature. And therefore, this added value should be uh, valuable. Now, we have launched the process which is called uh, uh, the drafting of uh, decarbonization strategy. And on the 10th of uh, December, we will be, 9th of December, we will be invited uh, to the event to discuss on how we could start uh, the decarbonization process in Lithuania. And uh, we will contribute to that by our own funds. We uh, have some resources for that at the Ministry of Agriculture. And uh, we, will con we will use for that uh, modernization funds and climate change programs. And, uh, we have structural funds which have not been allocated and we would like to use, use the funds uh, purposefully in order to fund uh, the meeting. Within the concept of uh, the Ministry of Environment, we do not have uh, the agriculture, but we concentrate on food waste, on uh, the management of uh, uh, biological uh, waste. And actually, the uh, decarbonization process involves biomethane as a solution for us, and this is a motive for us uh, to, to concentrate on that together with biofuel. And agriculture could uh, ensure additional income through using biomethane. And uh, the green uh, diesel fuel or um, red diesel fuel is uh, an issue here we would replace uh, uh, the heating fuel and other costs uh, through bio uh, from uh, from methane and uh, we in at the ministry of uh, agriculture fund uh, biomethane sources that is uh, public transport means for instance buses uh, every year we spend approximately 30 million euros uh, on public transport buses and uh, we uh, do not want to invest into electric buses because the investments are much higher into electric buses than those fueled by methane methane and uh, during um, the last call for tender for the production of methane uh, has uh, received the uh, number of uh, applications in the value of 15 million, which means that uh, the business is ready uh, to uh, implement the projects uh, which are uh, which are three times ex exceed the value of the subsidy. Here we have the part of demand because the natural gas suppliers uh, have been um, obliged to uh, mix the methane fraction into the fuel uh, into the natural gas uh, used uh, for fueling public transport. We see two examples, uh, the Baltic ones. At the bottom, Tartu city, uh, where public transport is fueled only by biomethane. We have an example of uh, uh, the agricultural sector and uh, its uh, cooperation of uh, city uh, councils. And we also saw the tractor, which is fueled by biomethane. We would like to make all effort 
into the reduction of uh, the use of uh, soil. Basic argument we are referring to is that a meter of soil underground has the accumulation of that much carbon as is accumulated above the soil, which means that if we can use less soil without um, using certain uh, plowing technologies, we do not uh, move the uh, CO2 which uh, is placed under the soil and uh, we would like to encourage the support and we know that through eco schemes together with miss uh, ministry of agriculture we will be encouraging the technologies uh, without plowing we have an impact which is not directly related to burning co2 but we would also like to uh, speak about uh, the use of mineral fertilizers 47% of the Lithuanian ground waters are in poor condition. The last monitoring has shown that uh, it has deteriorated, which means uh, that uh, in the area of middle Lithuania, where we have uh, the most fertile soils, agricultural activity is most intensive. Therefore, we will do all we can uh, to ensure that every farm has um, a, a fertilizer preparation plan and we should support these farms that will adapt through using uh, precise fertilizing technologies and the Ministry of Agriculture is uh, providing support for that because we are also responsible for the status of waters. Some emissions uh, are formed at the methane sector, that is in cattle uh, breeding, and uh, we have discussions on that. In Glasgow, where um, myself and Mr. Remigius Lapinskas and the Ministry of Agriculture representatives participated, uh, you uh, uh, we could see that when ordering food, uh, we could uh, observe how much uh, emissions we would be generating through choosing one or another type of meal. Uh, we know that cattle growing really generates, uh, contributes a lot uh, uh, to CO2 emissions and uh, we know that uh, tropical forests uh, are converted into um, uh, feedstock growing areas. Uh, we have the calculations that an average European through their uh, diets directly uh, eat every day approximately 70 kilo soya of soya, which is the meat that we eat. So to some extent, we are also responsible for uh, felling uh, tropical uh, forests, which uh, is skyrocketing. And uh, we should start speaking about innovations, which could be uh, our future. For instance, such corporations as Beyond Meat have meat substitutes, and they are already rated at $5 billion at stock exchanges, which shows that you can create a business model with, which is not based on subsidies. In Singapore, uh, we uh, uh, saw so that the poultry has been licensed, licensed which is uh, lab made, as well as uh, uh, sheep meat. Uh, lamb as well, and we see that uh, food prices are increasing because uh, the population is increasing and we have to find innovative solutions, smart solutions. That's about it. And my emphasis today is that 
frequently when we're speaking about uh, agriculture, uh, we uh, measure every commitment in terms of support. We are approaching the European average, and indeed support will soon turn into payments, which we could hear at Gla in Glasgow. And uh, being the rich country, we are expected uh, to pay 10, 100 billion every year uh, to invest into the innovations uh, worldwide. And uh, being the developed continent as U the European Union, we do not implement this uh, commitment, which means that we do not, uh, we are not capable of helping uh, the developing world to adapt. And uh, we, because our GDP is growing faster than the European average, we will be the ones who will have to contribute to agriculture in the European Union. And uh, we have to make our own efforts as an advanced society. And I believe I, I would like to see this attitude dominating over all sectors, including agriculture. Thank you for your attention.